Everybody's favourite video series is back, Mason. Is it? Who's specifically his favourite? It's my favourite. Oh, that's nice. And it's your least favourite, so I guess it ends... Somewhere in the middle, right? Now, what we do here is that I find insane reviews from mm. Letterboxd okay. where people go to review shows and movies and the like. Oh, yes. And I read you that review and you have to guess what that review is, mm. what the movie is. I love movies. Now, normally... But I don't love reviews of movies. That's true. But I don't love liars <laughs> and snakes in the grass and sneaks, which is what you are. That's what I don't love. So, often these are themed. We're going to go Barbie or Oppenheimer. Okay. I'll read the review. You tell me which one it is. For those who want to play along, feel free to leave a comment on how well you did in comparison to Mason. Okay. Lawrence this is going to... This seems very straightforward. Yeah, it is. Which suggests there's a trick. There's no and trick. I'm going to be tricked and I'm going to be mad no about trick. it. No trick. Often you'll be like, oh, was one of these the movie Joker? Mm. Not this time. Because both the actors portraying Oppenheimer and Barbie have been Batman villains. Associated loosely with the Joker. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And psychiatrists. Exactly. It's weird. So to me, that's old hat. Mm. Like, I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, all right. So it's just the movie Oppenheimer and the movie Barbie. And you pick. Not weird Barbie animated spin-offs no, or anything. No. Okay. Anyways, if everyone could leave a like, that would be great. Let's get into it. High School Musical? No, no High School Musical. God. Just relax. I'm, I'm mad already. You come in too tense. Mm. You should get a massage before and after these videos. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. On your own dime, obviously. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Let's walk it in easy. All right. It's from Jeffrey Daniels, who says... Normal name. Uh, half a star. Too woke for my liking. Why can't Barbie and Ken be Barbie and Ken? Hashtag repulsive. What is it? <laughs> it's perfect. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say... That one is Barbie. That's correct. That's terrific. Not so bad, is it? I'm one for one. This one is from Tamamojo. Tamamoli. I can't read this. <laughs> uh, maybe I need glasses. Half a star. Average male activity. Average male activity. That's right. I know. Some I of mean, these might be a little ambiguous. I don't know if I mentioned that. Oh, I see. You see, the thing is, men would rather build a world-ending atomic device or stage an insurrection in Barbie land rather than go to therapy. So, so both of those are quite typical what I'm saying. male behaviour. Give yeah. it to me one more time again. Average male activity. I think because ultimately the Manhattan Project mm. and the Trinity atomic bomb test was just dudes being bros. Yeah. I think it's Oppenheimer. It was actually. Yeah, that's right. You know that's bros. Right. Yeah, I know bros. <laughs> yeah. I've known a bro or two in my time. <laughs> Two for two, Mason. Yeah, it's just just dudes hanging out in the desert, clanking some stuff together. Exactly. You know? What about this one? Buckle fat removal propaganda. Oh, that's Oppenheimer. You seen the cheekbones on that guy? Insane. Mm, he, ate, he ate one almond a day or something. Did he? Not Oppenheimer, Killian Murphy. Oh. Yeah. Oppenheimer, presumably. Regular food and meth. What did they have back then? <laughs> yeah, meth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cyanide apples. <laughs> Mad for him. <laughs> You might be like, he was trying to murder his professor. No, 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 no. I wanted to give him a little treat for the weekend. Exactly. That was going to be the one where it's like, whoa, this is actually difficult. Oh, you, yeah. You got that one. How's about this? Uh, Half a Star by Dorian. Not at all surprising that Letterboxd loves this shit. Mark my words, the box office for this thing is going to drop harder than Joe Biden trying to conquer a set of <laughs> stairs. Okay. Could we just get a president who knows how to use some stairs or a ramp? Right. For the love of God. Okay, now this, God. Give it to me one more time. I feel like initially my, the first sentence was very one, yeah. and then the other one I think gave it the old gotcha, switcheroo. Gotcha. Okay. Not at all surprising that Letterboxd love this shit. See, that says Oppenheimer. Mark my words, yes. the box office for this thing is going to drop harder than Joe Biden and trying to conquer a set of stairs. I think that's Barbie. It is Barbie. Yeah, that's right. This guy's killing it. Because that guy would love Oppenheimer. He this would. is about blowing stuff up. Exactly. Biden, no, Biden, this, this reviewer. Yeah, Biden yeah, yeah. would also probably love Oppenheimer. Probably. It's about blowing stuff up. Yeah. Weddings and so forth. Weddings and, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. What about this one? From Shaya Satterley, half a star. I hated this movie, but I loved hanging with my pal Jordan. <laughs> okay. Two pals. What are they saying? You know? Oh, I thought... I'm trying to think of a character in either of those movies. Oh, maybe that is. Jordan. You might be right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say Oppenheimer. That was the movie Barbie. Damn! A rare misstep for one Nicholas Dickless Mason. Oh, man. <laughs> the other misstep <laughs> resulted in that nickname. <laughs> Correct. How's about this? Yes. From Victor Smith. Four stars. Oh, what? Yeah, um, I like to mix it up. Mm. Name one actor who wasn't in this movie. Oh, gosh, that is... What a cast all round. What a cast all round. Every person in Hollywood was occupied while these movies were <laughs> filming. Right. And they were there, they were both there on their studio set scheming. That's scheming right. Scheming to go on strike, probably. <laughs> Those dogs. Dogs, mate. Uh, I guess it also depends on who this person thinks stars are. That's right. Like, they might, they might think that... Oppenheimer's like the stars of... 
I don't want to say yesteryear, but right. but yesteryear. The, the Oppenheimer. Some people, I think, would look at the stars of of, uh, of Barbie and go, "Okay, those people are real Hollywood stars. They're they're cool and hip and now." And these guys are they even actors in Oppenheimer? Yeah. Isn't it just a bunch of old dudes? Absolutely. Didn't they just film a bunch of old dudes <laughs> just hanging out in a gentleman's club or whatever? Uh, go give me to me one more time. Name one actor who wasn't in this movie. I think that's Barbie. It's Oppenheimer. Dang. Damn, I know. A right? Rare misstep <laughs> from Nicholas Nicholas Mason. <laughs> This one's from Daniel. Oh, yes. Who is this movie for? It's not for me. I like cool movies where cool stuff happens. Or barring that, an Eastern European guy shoots two pistols at once. And if you read my reviews, I'll speculate it's likely not for you. I don't expect you to agree with me about everything. Hell, I hope you don't. Because I'm an absolute fuckwit who just writes whatever, <laughs> who just writes whatever, whenever. But who is this for? What kind of dismal, ideologically bankrupt spirit loves being force-fed something as painfully silly as this? Boy, because the the amount of words suggest Oppenheimer. Suggests literate, mm, also. That's right. Silly suggests Barbie. Yeah. But maybe he thinks the development of the atomic bomb was silly. Mm. I mean, he's not wrong, is he? Yeah. I've turned myself into knots now. I don't know which one. <laughs> I was le- don't know which one I was leaning towards initially. Flipper coin. Don't know which one it is now. <laughs> I'm going to say... Bit silly. I'm gonna say Barbie. You're right to not know because it's actually the movie The Sound of Freedom, oh. which is currently tearing through cinemas. The Jim Cavitzial yeah. classic. You know what's frustrating about this? Yes. This wasn't supposed to get in here, you know, because this is the movie that Hollywood doesn't want you to see. Oh so obviously, this will be removed from the video. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, my, I'll still get a point though, right? I get a point. Point for what? Oh yeah. For well, what? E- doesn't exist. What did you do? Ah, oh, you're right. It doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> uh, how's about this half a star from Wester? Made me want to kill myself, to be honest. Boy, that really could go either way, couldn't it? <laughs> God, these are good. Thank you. Yeah, okay. How many of these do you read before you build Mate, this video? don't even get me started. Okay. Hundreds. Ah, oh, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> we should do an additional video and it's just a camera on you <laughs> as you go through reviews and sweat it out. <laughs> Say it again with this one more time. Made me want to kill myself, TBH. TBH. Yeah. Barbie. Yeah. And yeah, there we go. It was the TBH that got me there. This is from Hill Yellow, who says, five stars. Oh, nice. I know. What's a male acting performance where he's having the worst day of his life but looks so hot doing it? <laughs> I mean, you know, Oppenheimer's got that snatch, snatched waist, doesn't he? With exactly. That, that beautiful belt. But. But Ryan Gosling's looking incredible. Exactly. I'm going I'm to give it, I'm going to say that's Barbie just because, even if I'm wrong, because Ryan Gosling would have to be dehydrated that whole time for exactly. months at a time, you know? Yeah. Oh, you were wrong. It was Oppenheimer. A rare miss. That's right. <laughs> From old NDM over here. <laughs> this one's a gimme. Oh, yeah. Not we'll a trick. See. Not a trick. It seems like it's a From trick. Watched by IZ. Five stars. Okay. Phenomenal work. I don't think Christopher Nolan knows what sex is. <laughs> Oh, then that's Oppenheimer. <laughs> that is Oppenheimer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Unless Nolan was in the, the cinema with this guy as they watched Barbie. <laughs> and there's that scene where uh, Ken is like, I'd like to stay over at your house tonight, Barbie. And she's like, why? And he's like, actually, I don't know. And Nolan's like, yeah, why? <laughs> why, actually? <laughs> Some Bruins, uh, half a star. This movie is everything wrong with the world ATM. <laughs> this movie's... Leaning heavily towards Barbie, but continue. Mm. This movie's purpose is to tear down men and make men seem like the bad guy at every opportunity. Oh, it could still um, be Oppenheimer. This is just me talking now. I'm <laughs> tired of women. <laughs> no, this, is, this is in the, the review. Okay. I'm tired of women are so oppressed and men ruin everything culture we currently live in. If you're thinking about seeing this movie, I would highly recommend you don't. Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm leaning towards Barbie here, yep. or another thing you've made up. Sure. But also, there were women in that in that Oppenheimer movie, and they were all nag, nag, nag. Yeah. I don't know if you should build this device that'll kill hundreds of thousands of people. Let's give our baby to a communist. Bloody blah. blah. Yeah. I say Barbie though. Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah. How's about this? Half a star from Matthew. A gross and unethical exploitation film. Makes you think. I mean, Barbie is being exploited for toy sales Agreed. numbers yeah. from Mr. Mattel over there. Oppenheimer or a joke one. It is a joke one. It's That's the sound I mean. of freedom again. Nice. I just want to clarify that this will not be in the video. I see. So again, even though I definitely earned that point. What point? Oh, he's got me again. <laughs> uh, how about this? We've got two left. Oh, yeah. Then you can go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. <laughs> no, you have to. I want to sit here while you look at more reviews. <laughs> Half a star from Girl Boss Babe, I who says, that. I am happy to announce I have finally found my least favourite movie in the world. Thank you so much, Joker. Little heart emoji. 
Thank you so much, Joker. Mm. Is it Joker? It's the movie Joker. Interesting. Now, normally I try not to put a Joker review in because it's to throw you off. No, you do it every time. <laughs> yeah, but normally I don't do it. You no, know, you normally do do it. <laughs> yeah, but this was a, a genuine accident. Interesting. I'm reading so many. Yeah. I'm reading so many. Last one. Now, I want you to think hard about this. Okay. It's half a star and it's from Mifrancy who says- oh, that's, a fan, that's a fancy name, so Agreed. probably Oppenheimer, but go ahead. Disgusting political agenda. Barbie. It is, yes. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. I feel like this is a good one for you. No, I, I had a good time. Even the ones that weren't in it. Did you do better than Nick Mason? Did you? Do you have any ideas for what you maybe want to see next in these videos? What's your embarrassing nickname? <laughs> Does it rhyme? Is it a bit of fun? We've done one on the biggest blockbusters. We've done ones with specific actors. We've done Star Wars ones. We've done fantasy movies, classic horror films, all of these things. That's right. Uh, anyways, do you know we have a place to go to? It's called BigSandwich.co. <laughs> Is it not the bar Cheers? No, that, they tore that down. It was a fire hazard, I think. It was a fire hazard, yeah, obviously. And all those patrons, they're so full of booze, just... Instantly disintegrated. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Norm! Yeah. We also have a service called BigSandwich.co where videos go up there early. That's right. Including these and Caravan of Garbage, our flagship series, Mason. Oh, that's right. That's what I'm calling it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's also bonus podcasts, movie commentaries, video game Let's Plays, all of this exclusive. It's like our private Patreon, our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Comes out there early Sunday, ad-free, as opposed to Monday on all its various Spotify and YouTube and Apple. people are all up in our grill. They're like, oh, I don't have anything to do on a Sunday. I, I want a podcast on Sunday. Well, you're, you're paying for it then. I want a podcast. You, shouldn't, you, you overplayed your hand. That's right. You said, oh, I, I really need this. Well, you're paying through the nose we for got it. Ya. You got We got you, dogs. And you're welcome. That's right. All right, thanks, everyone. Uh, grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.